Welcome to St. Paul's Church in Allentown. This is the kitchen. We're here to celebrate cooks and collars. I'm here with seminarian Keaton Idol. <laughs> <laughs> that the waffles are ready. We're going to be making simple dishes you can have for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or even dessert. So we're going to make waffles, and Keaton's going to make ice cream for us. So we're going to celebrate, and we'll show you how to do We'll start with Keaton making the ice cream first. Sweet. So we were thinking we were going with waffles and ice cream because we figured it's a meal you could have for breakfast, lunch, or dessert for dinner. So we found a nice, simple, uh, recipe for ice cream. It includes only three ingredients. We got half and half pure vanilla extract and then some uh, heavy whipping cream and they all get mixed in. You need five cups of the half and half, a can of the whipping cream and only two and a half scoops, spoonfuls of the vanilla. And is it not condensed milk, Keen? What did I say? Whipping cream. Oops. <laughs> it's okay. Condensed milk. I know the ingredients. And uh, so then when you throw it in, you mix it in a big container. It's, uh, you can mix the ingredients. Father had the brilliant idea of, what is this red stuff? Rhubarb strawberry. Rhubarb strawberry ice cream. I wanted peanut butter, but Father said not in his rectory. So, waffles, good for any time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the ingredients. We need to take pancake mix use any ordinary pancake mix. This particular one also requires using oil and an egg. We'll see how well this works out. To get the shell in, take it out. Crunchy waffles are not good. it all up. And we're missing an important ingredient. That's why it's good to read the instructions because then you know what ingredient you're missing. The ingredient we're missing is the milk, which we left in the refrigerator. That's right. There it is. Okay. There you go, Father. So I think that was about three quarter cups of milk. Yes. Just gotta mix until there's no lumps. Correct. And then once you finish mixing, you let it settle for a bit so that it'll settle down and really be good for the waffle maker. I think about four to five minute press would be good. making a mess in the kitchen and we're about to fill up this container here with salt and ice and that allows the uh, container to stay cold as it turns everything and slowly freezes it. So what we're going to do is we, we're going to take this and uh, we're going to take this handy dandy piece of equipment and latch it on. So then once, uh, once you get this thing on top, then we just need to layer the outside with layers of ice. And then after you put the ice in, you're going to layer some salt. Basically any of the kind of salt you would use to put down in your driveway in order to avoid slipping in the middle of winter. So it's a pretty simple process. Cream. 
or you can even do the healthy option for peach preserves, put it on top, it's delicious. Or what we're going to do is we're going to do it for dessert. So Keaton's still making the ice cream, place it on top, perfection. And if you do it right, you just might find that neighbor coming through your door. perfection the first time, as you'll see. First attempt, second attempt, third attempt. Gold Box will be so happy. So we hope you are too. So as you can see, the machine has stopped turning, which means our ice cream is ready to go. So all we have to do is take this off and uh, move Container. Open it up and look inside. We got a very nice consistency to our ice cream. So we'll take this inside and uh, we'll have Father taste it because when Kita cooking is always having somebody else taste it just in case. Oh, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> mm. I said it's pretty good. Awesome. So you can scoop on as much as you want. Enjoy. It's the best part because it's part of the cleanup. So enjoy. If you're interested in giving a, a good Christmas gift or a birthday gift, you got a waffle machine, you got an ice cream maker, it's great. Yeah, if you give them to somebody else, they can always make the ice cream and the waffles for you later. It's a gift that comes both ways. Give to receive. Delicious.